My name is Daniel Barbario, and I'm a senior at Holy Trinity. Today, I will be giving a presentation on evolution. What is evolution? Evolution is a gradual change in a species over time, as shown below. On the left, there was a monkey who existed millions of years ago. As time passed, they evolved into the humans that exist today. Natural selection. Organisms with traits best suited to their environment are more likely to survive and reproduce. This is also known as survival of the fittest. Who was Charles Darwin? Charles Darwin was a British naturalist that studied evolution. He studied the evolution of 13 species of finches on the Galapagos Islands, which helped form his famous theory of evolution. Darwin's theory of evolution. There are five points to his theory. A constant world of change, a common ancestor, gradual change and species formation, inheriting change across the species, and evolution by natural selection. The types of evolution between species. There are three types of evolution. Divergent. In divergent evolution, species diversify to new habitats. This explains why members of a species can differ over time. Convergent. In convergent evolution, species share analogous features, which are features that are similar in function but differ between species. For example, bats and birds share an analogous structure in wings. Both species have wings, but they are not the same, and the species do not share a common ancestor. The last type of evolution is parallel evolution. In parallel evolution, Species maintain the same level of similarity between each other. How can evolution be observed? Physically, evolution can be recognized by fossil structures and by physical qualities. Genetically, similarities in base pairs of DNA show more accurate similarities between species. What is symbiosis? Symbiosis is any kind of relationship or interaction between two different organisms. They can have positive, negative, or neutral effects. The types of symbiosis. There are three types of relationships under symbiosis. Mutualism, where both organisms benefit from each other. Commensalism, where one organism benefits and the other is unaffected. And parasitism, where one organism benefits and the other is harmed. Thank you for watching my video. If you have any questions, feel free to email me using the email address shown on screen.